Hi, I'm Joe from Empire Music, EmpireMusic.com in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We are Taylor Guitar's online preferred dealer, one of only 15 or 20 in the country. We bring you the coolest, newest, fastest, strongest Taylor Guitars all the time, right at EmpireMusic.com. And today is no exception with a new model release for the 50th anniversary of Taylor, the Taylor 217E Sunburst. Uh, check out EmpireMusic.com. You can see the exact guitars. We never take stock photos or use stock photos on Taylor guitars. You can see the exact one you like. You can chat with us through the site and you can always use 0% financing options. Give us a call, chat with us. We'll get you the right thing. Most importantly, when we help you find the right guitar, not only will we help you find the right guitar, we will get it dialed in with our full pro setup to factory spec, giving you the best version of the instrument. Now, Taylor's been doing all sorts of cool stuff for the 50th anniversary. And I'm really excited about this guitar because it's something that they haven't offered. Taylor's done a really good job. Um, starting last year, they didn't have Grand Concert models with cutaways in the 100 and 200 series. Well, they've never had a Grand Pacific in the 100 and 200 series. So for the 50th anniversary, we have the 217E in this sweet tobacco sunburst finish. But that's not it. This is like, that's, that would normally be enough for me to get stoked and, and be excited about kind of like all the players that have been looking for something like this. But... They've also kind of done two huge things with the um, with this guitar that's gonna kind of uh, run its course through all the 100 and 200 series. It's a torrified Sika spruce top, and it has C-class bracing, and you're gonna see that now in all 100 and 200 series guitars with spruce tops. They're all gonna be torrified, and they're all gonna have C-class bracing. What does all that mean? Well, if you're not familiar with torrified tops, it's basically the process of baking them to match the, um, end result is to match the components and the consistency of a vintage guitar. Um, vintage guitars that have aged a long time have different mineral contents. They've changed the wick, the you know, moisture content over time. So it gives you a really like a really responsive instrument. So this is going to give you a more mature um, tone. And then C-class bracing, which is not shaped like a C, like V-class bracing, but C-class bracing is a cantilever system. And a uh, short story on it is like you basically take a V-class brace guitar and you're really changing the way that the bass side of the guitar is braced, opening it up, and it allows for a bigger, fuller sound. So what does this tell me when I hear that from Taylor? I hear torrified tops and I hear cantilever bracing. And it makes me immediately think that they're trying to make the guitar sound bigger and bolder and fuller. And I would say mission accomplished in this uh, instance for sure. Um, we've seen the, the other guitars with it already and, and it's very much the case. The guitars are just kind of fatter sounding, which is great. Um, the Grand Pacific is sweet because, you know, Taylor's um, Dreadnought selection has always been kind of quirky. They've kind of always kind of flirted with it. This is cool because it's a slope shoulder Dreadnought and it's designed specifically for someone who wants Taylor's sonic capabilities very clean, very articulate a very nimble guitar with the fullness and bigness and output of a slope shoulder dreadnought. So, you know, if you want to sound like a classic dreadnought guitar, there's brands out there that do that great. If you've always wished you could hear the fullness of a Taylor enhanced, bigger bottom end, um, greater ceiling for output, this is your guy. Um, so we have a Torrified Sika Spruce top. We have layered East Indian Rosewood back and sides. We have a mahogany neck, ebony fingerboard and bridge, uh, expression system two. And what's really cool about 100 and 200 series guitars is we have a 111 16 inch nut width, so slightly more narrow. So if you've played uh, American Dream guitars and up, and that one and three quarters is a little bulky for you, you know, that's mitigated here. So, I mean, pretty sweet. What's really cool about, uh, I think, Taylor guitars and kind of something that is um, very present in this model and since their guitars have always, you know, to, a lot of customers will say, oh, Taylor's are really bright. I mean, that's subjective. I, I think the guitars are very clean and very balanced, and I think that's the reality. Um, their big guitars are always good at playing small, and I think that enhances their value and their versatility. So if you want that fullness and you really want to be able to get at it, I'm telling you, we're going to show you it, its output is great. Um, what's really cool about this though is it when you play it lightly, it doesn't sound like a thin guitar that's really struggling. And that is the case with many, many dreadnought guitars that until you really put you know, your, the pedal to the metal and really work them, 
they sound underwhelming. I think you're gonna find this guitar to be really articulate, very clean, lots of sustain at a light touch, which is a great compliment to the bracing and the wood sourcing and the construction because it's hard to get a guitar to do that. So if you have ever seen one of my videos, you know I like to highlight two things specifically, dynamic range and um, balance of the mid specifically. Um, I'm really interested when I'm buying a guitar myself on knowing what the dynamic range is. Sometimes I'm looking for something with a smaller range. Sometimes I want something with a broad range. Um, so having a handle on that at going into it is really important to me. And then how the middle of the guitar performs and is heard is to me essential. This is, um, I think almost everybody talks about, I'd probably say if I had these conversations with, with people, it's like, 85% is worried about the bass. How boomy is it? How bassy is it? 14.5% um, of the people are interested in how the top end is. Is it too jangly? And half a percent is worried about kind of like the overall evenness of the guitar. And I think this is essential knowing that the guitar is going to perform cleanly top to bottom. So all the work that we're doing in the middle of the neck is heard. So let's go do dynamic range and then balance and we'll uh, reconvene here and see if you dig it. Super powerful at the top end. Uh, I think you get to a certain point when you're like hammering a guitar to, um, it's like you, you can't strum and be accurate and play beyond kind of like the heaviness that I went at. Um, in its category and price point, this would swallow up almost every guitar. I mean, it's really, really powerful. Um, my favorite part about it though, because I'm not that type of player, you know, it's like I'm not somebody who plays super heavy. Um, is that when I play light medium, I get the fullness of a big guitar, but I get all the clarity that you would associate with Taylor guitars and probably a little bit smaller instrument. So you get that definition and focus, which is, you can't stress how hard that is to do. I mean, you don't see it in a lot of guitars because it's really, really, really hard to do. And um, they hammered out here. It's just like, this thing is really, really cool. And for someone that wouldn't, um, wouldn't know Taylor guitars for slope shoulder dreadnoughts and you're looking for a place to, to check them out, I would absolutely consider this along with, you know, they make definitely more pricey and, you know, higher end versions of this. But with the Torified Sitka Spurs top, the C-Class bracing, the expression system, ebony fingerboard and bridge, I mean, it's just a great feeling and sounding guitar. It comes with a great arrow case. Um, 
it, it checks a lot of boxes for sure. So here's what I would love for you to do. Go to empiremusic.com, check out our entire Taylor selection, just like this guitar. See all the individual photos, the exact guitar you'll receive. Um, give us a call, questions, we'll hook you up any way we can, get you all the information you need. Most importantly, when you deal with Empire Music, you know that we're gonna do a full pro setup to factory spec. Can't stress this enough. Um, Taylor does a really good job with delivering guitars that are really nice out of the box. If you want one that's great, you give us a call, we will get it great. Um, so when it shows up to you, you get the best version possible of the instrument. Uh, you can always call us 412-343-5299, chat with us on the site. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. This is the Taylor 217E Sunburst 50th anniversary. I'm Joe from Empire Music. Thanks so much for watching.